Hello everyone, I threatened you in my last video that I would do this and now's the time. We're gonna take a close look at the JMT Synth NF2 by itself. Came with a card that graphic is also available on the JMT Synth website. But it kind of explains <laughs> kind of what this thing does. It's essentially uh, it's a noise box. And you may be asking yourself, why would I get another noise device when I already have the Dragotronic M669 and the landscape stereo field? But both of those have a disadvantage that I think this one will make up for, I'm hoping. The Tragotronic has a tendency to drift. I will dial in a sound that I like, and then that sound will go away about 10 minutes later because the generators are really unstable. I mean, that's part of the design. I mean, as far as I know, it's supposed to do that, but you can't on that device rarely dial in a sound that you want to keep because it's going to float away from it. Uh, it tends to be a little more stable if I plug CV into the input jacks. So yeah, the truck drifts and the stereo field, you have to have your hand on it to make it do the thing. You've got to be touching it. And I thought that this might be a better solution for providing like a, just a continuous noise because you can set these knobs and switches and as far as I can tell so far, fingers crossed, it doesn't seem to drift around a lot. But enough talking, let's hear some sounds. Uh, this switch is the power, I already have it turned on. First knob is volume. This knob obviously controls the pitch of oscillator one. And this knob right here, which I skipped, is a, he calls it an all pass filter. It goes to low pass on this side, and then in the middle, it's all, you know, no, no filtration. And then as you turn it this way, it goes to high pass. And I, I'm not sure. I think that's a square wave. Might be a triangle. This sounds like a square wave to me. This switch right here engages uh, a noise mode. And that sounds like chip noise to me. So I'm guessing it's probably a uh, digital shift register making that noise with like linear feedback shift register. Anyhow, this switch engages oscillator 2. And the two oscillators cross modulate each other. And this last switch controls the type of cross modulation. Right now in the center, that sounds like oscillator sync. And if we flip noise mode, send that signal through the shift register,
turn up the filter, it gets fizzly. Turn down the filter, it gets thundery. That's pretty nice. If we flip this switch up, we get... I don't know what that is. But there's lots of good fizzles. Crackles in there. Can make it more... Throw some reverb on there. Ooh. Flip this switch up. Again, sink in the middle, and then if we put up the switch down, we get another... That might be a... that might be sync mixed with whatever the first one was. You get it chattering like that. Flip the noise, and you get this not real chunky noise with that. a lot of splatter. Hey. with the shift register off. That's with it on. And then there are two CV ports in the back. And according to the data sheet, both of those affect oscillator one. And um, from what I was able to verify, when I patched it up previously, both of those jacks do in fact seem to do the same thing. So I guess you can mix two CVs in there. But anyway... I can't explain to you why I like that so much, but that is a beautiful sound. Wow. Anyway, there you go, the JMT Synth NF2. Hope y'all found it interesting. Thanks, patrons, for paying for it, and I will catch you all next time.